Hey. You change your lines at Shib Shibuya, right? I heard customers say it's gotten dangerous over there. Don't let yourself be a target, got mm. it? It's really gotten unsafe, huh? That said, you'll still want to check out Kiji Joji at night, don't you? Don't worry, worse comes to worse, I got your back. <laughs> Besides, there's a certain delicious smell on that street that bears investigating. We're gonna go hang out with Yoshida if they let me. Picked up an interesting info you might want to hear. Apparently, this assault man has been causing troubles in Kiji Joji. If you make one wrong move or say the wrong thing, he flies into a rage and it turns into a fight. Even if you don't hit him, he lies and says you did and then sues for damage. Sounds rough. Sounds like so he's a con artist or like a conflict artist. I agree, we can't let this guy go unchecked. Only problem is, knowing that he's an old troublemaker isn't enough to guess a name. I did hear he hangs out in Keiji Joji's Harmony Alley a lot. Mm. Oh man, sure it does sound like a problem. If we don't know his name, we can't make we can't make him have a change of heart. Sounds like our next stop is Keiji Joji. Let's go check it out in Harmony Alley. Alright. Uh Yoshida. We could also rank up Mishima, but it's Sunday, so I want to focus on Yoshida on Sundays. Basically, every Sunday I want to be Yoshida. Until he's done. Everyone. Many of you suffer greatly from this disorder world. Please know you can direct your criticism, yada yada. My schoolwork. Let's do it. Right away. I should have... Actually, it doesn't matter. I was going to say get a son, but if he always ranks up, it doesn't really matter. Everyone. Passing on societal ills we have created to the next generation is not right. It will take time to solve this problem. However, we must start by making small changes. You. I hope you gleaned something useful from today's speech. Regardless of the audience's size, you must convey your thoughts as if you're talking one-on-one. -on -one. By the way, I forgot to ask you last time we spoke. Why do you want to become a politician? I'd like to change the world. Hmm? Ambitious indeed, if a little ambiguous. Well, I'm sure you'll iron out the details as you go along. May I ask you one question? What kind of politician do you want to be? Conviction. Yes, don't ever forget that. Although what's important is what lies within. You're right. Well, I'm going to give you some advice. If you aspire to get into politics, you must possess a central philosophy. What is it that you want to accomplish? That's the foundation of a great speech. You do well to remember that. What I want to accomplish. I suppose you haven't figured out that out yet, hmm? By the way, my philosophy is... Very well. Never give up until your voice is heard. To get your message across, be tenacious in conveying your thoughts to the audience. Have a firm point of view and communicate it clearly. That's the first rule of negotiating. <laughs> you have me reliving the fighting spirit I had when I first became a politician. Rank up. Can you actually ask for more money? Oh yeah, this is the really good skill. Yoshida has a bunch of good skills, but that's one of them. Get the hell out of here, no good Tora. No good Tora. You're right, I am no good. Oh, uh, my apologies, we're done for today. Oh, you get charm for doing Yoshida. That's nice. I shall ask you again another time. Thanks for your hard work, I'll see you next time. Hey, I wanted to thank you for today. Sorry you had to see me acting like such a coward right after I gave you that self-important lecture. I'm quite stubborn and individual myself. I hope today's incident was at least a good example of what not to do, but what do you think? Did you take anything useful from it? It was helpful. That's a relief. I have to say it was almost nostalgic for me. It reminded me of my early days. I hope our talks from now on will keep giving you the direction you need. Well, I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. at 16% we're moving up in the world what is that poster did you see the news about the calling card from the phantom thieves right the way it was written seemed pretty legit have they really stolen people's hearts i can't believe the phantom thieves actually exist <sighs> oh it's so gross and humid now for today's train news today's headlines are hot spots of tokyo penguin sniper is open for business in kichi joji What's Penguin Sniper, you ask? A zoo? A pet shop? No, it's a trendy lounge for darts and billiards. Whether alone or in a group, how you play is up to you. Oh. Ah, it's that one lounge. Next time we go, I'm gonna play darts too. Still, there sure are a lot of shops in Kichijoji. We should take our time and look around when we get a chance. I looked at, like, every shop, cat. We will be back at the, um, the accessory shop, though. Morning. 
The responses to Mother Emily's press conference was huge. Everyone's talking about the calling card. Girls are checking me out today. Maybe they can't help but sense my overflowing Phantom Thief charisma. Oh shit, am I finally starting to be popular with all the flat? Oh no. What's wrong? For real? What's wrong? My uniform, man. That's what. We're supposed to switch to summer uniforms today. I knew people were looking at me. Oh god damn it. I gotta go home and change, so you go on ahead. Holy shit, you're pale. Short sleeves are so not for you. Shut up. Jeez, anyways, did you catch the news yesterday? Watching that famous artist cry his eyes out all over the artwork he's stolen. The same thing happened to Kamashita, right? Both got weird calling cards too, if you ask me, the same person is behind all this. The news this morning said a group called ARMS are the ones behind the cards. I wonder how they get people to confess. I mean, they can't literally be stealing hearts. Blackmail, maybe? Ah, made it. Up. Sprinting first thing in the morning was a bad idea. Your uniform is just a shirt. Why are we all wearing white shirts and you're just wearing a default red shirt? Well, it's definitely my personal best by a lot. How are things going in regard to that matter we spoke of earlier? I have nothing to report yet. Nothing at all? How many students are there who could provoke a teacher? I've already narrowed it down. I just can't get any solid evidence. <sighs> you knew, didn't you? About Mr. Kamashita sexually harassing students. Sir! What will come of you asking that? This investigation is for a just cause, correct? I believe I understand how flustered this must be making you. I'm sure it was truly shocking for you as student council president to see a peer attempt suicide. Yes. We must provide a school environment where all students can feel at ease. That is the most pressing issue we have to tackle at the moment. So that's your reason behind this investigation on the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? We don't even know if they truly exist. Why are you... You heard about the incident with that Matarami fellow, I assume? They said there was a similar calling card to the one used in Mr. Komashita's case. I wish to believe that this is unrelated to our students. Yes. That is where I stand. I suggest you devote your energy to the task at hand, not unnecessary questions. <sighs> Did you see Matarame's press conference? You mean that guy who was all like, How could I possibly apologize for what I've done? Oh! Think it was really those phantom thieves? You know, the whole stealing your heart thing? That? Uh, there's no way. But then again, it seems too convenient for it all to just be coincidence. Yeah! How's it going? Have you found our next big target? I just started looking yesterday. No way I'm gonna find one that quick. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. By the way, I decided on the TV station. What about you two? Huh? Oh, crap! The social studies trip! Oh, I just want to ditch it. You'd better go to your school activities. Didn't I tell you not to draw attention to yourselves? Wouldn't me suddenly turn it into a good student stand out more? <laughs> Maybe he's got a point. Quit bickering and go. Then let's all choose the TV station. I heard we're gonna get to watch them tape a show. Maybe there'll be actresses there. Oh, well, not like I got anything better to do than waiting for info to come in online. Plus, Morgana's right. Showing up will keep the teachers from getting all suspicious of me. All right, I'm gonna head back. TV, huh? Maybe I should get a haircut. That guy is such an idiot. I hope nothing happens. Takes one to know one.
Feels pretty great about everyone talking about us, huh? Motorama is the only topic of, topic of conversation at my school. And as I'm his pupil, most of my peers have chosen to ignore me. For real? That's bullshit. Are you gonna be okay? There's no need to worry. They had already been treating me differently from others as it stood. This is nothing new to me. Okay then. More importantly, do we have any leads on our next mission? You're kidding? There's no way we'd find a target that quick. Just wait and see. Understood. Oh, uh, we could always go to Mementos instead. I'll keep myself free. Please tell me if anything comes up. Hey, are you listening? You pay attention? Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? A murderous intent. I'm still not at the proficiency to dodge that, though. Pay attention. <sighs> yeah, I'm working on it. One day we'll get my proficiency up. Preferably the three. I don't remember what level Senpai. you need it to be. Probably like three or four. What a pleasant surprise. It's really pouring down, isn't it? I thought something like this would happen. So I snuck a collapsible umbrella into your bag. Keep packing. It gives you something to do. Want me to pack a towel and change of underwear next time? I hate you. Where's your umbrella? Unfortunately, I forgot it. <laughs> Doesn't that just suck? It's happened to me a few times. But it's fine. I'll barely get wet if I run to the station. If anything, it'll make for good training. Uh huh? But how are? Oh, are you offering to share your umbrella? That'd be wonderful. Thank you so much. Thanks again for letting me join you. To be honest, prelims are coming up soon, so I didn't want to take any chances of getting sick. Oh, the preliminary competition for gymnastics. Two huge competitions are coming up. One at the beginning of summer and one near the end. If I'm going to participate in the prelims, I have to be selected as my club's representative. And there's a qualifier meet to determine who that rep will be. It's my dream to compete in gymnastics on the global level. So, I plan on maintaining a strict training regimen with my coach. I shall cheer you on. I'd be invincible if I had you cheering me on, senpai. <laughs> oh, we're already at the station. I'll be fine from here out. I can't thank you enough for today. I swear, I'll return the favor some. Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? You mean the honors gymnast? She gets the VIP treatment at school and a boyfriend to escort her around. Miss Special Snowflake sure is living on Easy Street. This is Rinwell's voice. Sounds just like her. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to deal with a misunderstanding like that. I'm used to it. you're right the same thing happens in class too people are often wary of me because i'm an honor student the school's expecting me to attain strong results in the upcoming competitions too they even told me i didn't have to participate in the cleanup event but i just don't like getting special treatment oh excuse me my father's calling okay no i was right the first time they were talking about you with the whole um you still had to get in your gym clothes, but you didn't participate in the cleanup. They, you were the honor student. I was right the first time. Hello, Dad? What was that? Uh, sorry, my phone's been acting up lately. It's okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Sorry about that. He asked if I needed a ride since it's raining. A bit overprotective, don't you think? I mean, he must care a lot about you. Yes, I definitely agree. Well, I have to get to practice, so it's time for me to go. Thanks so much for today. Excuse me. I like that skirt. That color is very nice. Seems pretty rough. Seems like Yoshizawa has it hard too. Never mind that. Having wet fur is the worst. Try keeping me under the umbrella, would you? You can hide in the bag. If anything, you're the lucky one. You dumb cat. 
Hey, I found some great intel. This time it's bullying by a Kosei student they call a queen. She's been overthrowing a random male student who goes by the name M. Kind of like M in s and &M. That's horrible. Makes you want to cry, doesn't it? Anyway, here are the details. The girl acting like a queen is Hikari Shimizu. I wonder if it's more likely that a girl will turn out that if she has an S as an initial. I already posted the warning, so you should take it on when you have the time. What do you mean by S and M? Those are shirt sizes, right? Is it the size of the clothes? Let's find time to go. Okay, so that one we can just do. Can I go to Kiji Joji right now? Ooh. Omaruki wants to hang out. Can I go to Kiji Joji? I want to get this, um, this other request done. Like, I want to get it ready to investigate. Hmm? I called Inokoshira Park Inoko the other day, and the guy was like, where's that? Seriously, I thought Inoko was a popular abbreviation. Does that guy even know the official name? He's gotta know that Inokoshira Oncho Park is, like, super famous. Even you've got it wrong, it's Inokoshira Park, or yeah, okay. That's not what I needed. Can now travel to the temple. Hmm. Hmm. Using the temple, you'll be able to increase your max SP. Yeah, okay, we're not gonna do this till like right later. Here? Unless we have like nothing to do. They said the uh they said Harmony Alley. I don't know where Harmony Alley is. Is it this way? It's an alleyway, obviously. Was that oh bar? Hmm. I guess these places don't open until nighttime. I guess so. You guys, Harmony Alley? I want to be strong like Featherman. I want some imported protein. I see it, but you can also become strong by eating your mom's cooking, you know. Mom's food won't turn me into a Featherman. I want to be like Featherman. Sounds like a you problem. Where's Harmony Alley? Maybe you can't do this in the rain. Alright, we're gonna move on. I'm gonna do Maruki because he's the only option. Still can't get a counselor persona though. So I'm gonna have to deal with no additional points. I'm sure you're already aware, but the Phantom Thieves appeared again. Let me get your opinions on this. What do you think is the Phantom Thieves objective? No idea. I know, right? I'm not sure I get their whole stealing hearts thing either. At any rate, they do seem to be getting more popular. Wait, is Maruki... Yeah. Do you remember how we discussed my research? Think you could spare some time after school? I'll be in the nurse's office for a while, so I appreciate it if you drop by the talk. Right to here. Do you like the rain? Looks like... I don't like the rain. I hate it. Looks like it's raining today. If you're feeling down, it's probably the weather's fault. Do you maybe have some time today? Can I borrow you for a moment? Let's do it. It's open. Rookie looks to be enjoying himself. Give me those points. Well, see you. You haven't heard anything from the student council president, have you? She's been an incredible stalker lately. This honor student must be busy kissing ass somewhere. You don't have to be so harsh. This is about the student council president. Someone at our school has kind of been keeping tabs on us. I think she's suspicious of us. I mean, who wouldn't be when you're discussing your stuff in a hideaway? Hideaway, or not a hideaway. In a walkway. Are you sure it's not merely a result of Ryuji's general misconduct? Shut up. Though, to be honest, the three of you must certainly stand out. You try to be careful. Yusuke, you say we stand out, but you should honestly, like, bring this to the group. The first thing you should say is, why are we meeting in a walkway? I cannot be there to look over you at school, you know. The duty rests on your broad shoulders. Got it. If only if only I can say, get a new hideout. I'll make sure to keep an eye on Ryuji too. Why do you single me out? kind of overshadow you sometimes, but don't forget. You're famous too. Just make sure you're careful, okay? I hate how... Hey, inmate! No one sees the problem with this. We need to talk to you, get a... Yeah. No. No? That's the door we can see. You better not go to the wrong place. Do I have to? Who are you talking to? It sounded really noisy. Uh, if you're being summoned somewhere, you should probably get caught. Oh my word! No. You got time right now? 
I am hanging out with Sojiro. It's Monday? Yeah. All right, then. It was Sojiro rank up. I don't know what that Velvet Room thing is for. It's probably for, um, you can, like, hang out with the twins, can't you? It's probably for that. Thanks. But hanging out with them isn't even linked to their social link. So, like, to me, it's pointless. You think that these usually make an effort to announce themselves? You're in high school, right? I know a good part-time job. You still haven't called whoever sent that calling card? I'm actually a phantom thief. Want to go grab some coffee? Did some idiot leak pictures again? Actually, maybe today would have been a good day to do Kawakami, but, uh, too late. 